Now you'd have been to Houston. A lot of times. You'd have been to Dallas. You'd have been everywhere in Texas multiple times within the last I've few been, months. I've been to major cities. Yes. I've been to the major markets. I've been. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So what? Like, what's your interest in the Texas market? I know it's the closest to you, but like, what's your interest in the Texas market when it comes to music? I don't know, man. I I've been struggling. I've been struggling to break in Texas market. I mean, I've done what? something. I've been struggling. Bro. Hell, nah, man. I feel like everybody rock with you. Well, yeah. no, I've been struggling, bro. I've been trying to get interviews from a lot of different people for multiple times, and it ain't just ain't happened. I, hey, how much you? I, all right, boom. I hit up ESG this morning. No, I hit ESG up like two days ago. Yeah. I DM him because I ain't know if he was managed or whatever. So I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'll be out in Houston. Yeah. You know how much? You, I'm like, how much you charge for an interview? Yeah, right, right. Like, he had hit me back like, "What's the offer?" But it wasn't like I'm like I don't know. Like I'm, mm. I'm asking you. Yeah. You no, know, I emailed him before. I, mean, I ain't just putting on ESG. I'm just saying he won. He because he's a notable yeah. artist from right, right, right. Houston. Right. Oh, he from he from Louisiana, but he's a notable artist, so he just won. It's other artists I didn't hit up, man. I was supposed to interview Cal Wayne right. like three, four different occasions, but he been having stuff going on. Yeah, like, he got, his he mom got, died. Yeah, he got a lot of stuff going and his on. Brother yeah. died and stuff. So prayers well, out this, to him. Yeah, man. prayers out to him. Um, he was when um, cause him and him and George Floyd was real tight, yeah. real tight. So, yeah. but we will have words like, "Hey, you coming? All right, we go do it." And then he might say, "Man, I don't feel like going to interview." Uh -huh. well, I did like he'll tell me. I'm like, "Damn, I'm like, all right." So, you know, uh -huh. he don't. Shit, like, man, I be trying to Al. I never interviewed Young Al. I, yeah. I wanted to, but I hit him. It's, yeah. you know. I mean, I mean, you know, people like people got their own. Yeah, they got their own shit yeah. going on too, but also, yeah. like, I noticed in my experience of interviewing, like, people only want to do interviews on certain times too. Oh, for sure. For example, like, you know, when they ready to drop a project or they yeah. working on something major. For sure. Then they'll jump on there, but, like, just out of random, like, they usually don't be doing, especially out here. Mm -hmm. They usually don't even want to do the interview. I don't know, but, you know what I'm saying? My thing is, like, with my brand. Right. And for artists who haven't seen Change of Plans, if they want to, it's not like you can't go vet the the, the media brand that I have right, and right. say this guy ain't doing that. Right, it ain't right. like you can't go see it. Right, and, so, that's, and that's what's going to bring me to my, my next point, too. Like, you, you said you reached out and you offered to pay him. Yeah, a few of them, yeah. Like, like, why, like yeah. why, why, not even judging the fact that you did that, but why do you feel like you got to pay him with the platform that you have? I mean, like, like that's ESG, bro. You changed like, the plans, bro. I know, but this is like I, I, I respect artists because I'm a fan of the music. Yeah. Like, and I'm talking about an artist before social media was even thought about. Right. So the stories and the information that he has. Right. right. You know, him being with Slim Thug, Pimp C, DJ Screw, label yeah. deals. I, like a person like that, yeah. I'm, I would pay for. Like, look, bro. Like, how much you charge for an interview? Because I know that he has. He has something to talk about. Right. Now I'm not and offering to pay. I'm not gonna offer to pay a person who ain't got no motion. Right, right, right. And no, and no disrespect to ESG, ESG. Yeah. But my thing is, I feel like y'all can benefit each other. We could. I think we could. You know what I'm saying, like when it comes to your platform, bro, you don't have a small platform. You I do know. numbers. Like, I know. I, but so I think we could. But I just, it's just a respect. It's a respect. It's just a respect you. for yeah. him. Yeah, and that's just one person. Like even Kiki, I wanted to interview Kiki. I was supposed to, yeah, yeah. We, but he never, we never did. So right. we didn't for whatever reason. It's cool. Right. I'm like, I, but my thing, I'm like, I'll pay. I'll pay if you need me. To, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kiki, if it was Big Pokey, Slim Thug, Kiki, Mike D, any anybody zero, anybody that caliber, even Trey. Well, I uh, Trey, I met Trey. Uh, that was a few years ago. I had went to his um. I had he had went, we went to Walmart. He went to Walmart, bought shit for everybody. Right. And I went and I, but he ain't charged me. He just did off the love. So right, right, right. that's Trey. But I'm just saying everybody. Even if Trey was like, man, look, I charged him up for interview. I pay for it. That's Trey. I my level of respect for them those type of artists. Yeah, that I put work in. I ain't gonna lie, I'm locked in with Trey, but Trey ain't doing no interviews. I'm bro. pretty sure he not now. <laughs> he ain't I'm pretty sure he not now. He ain't doing with me, yeah. man. Like, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm pretty sure he won't, but I'm just saying the fact that this is Trey and the caliber of artists. Yeah, right, right, You know right, what right, I'm saying? Right, that, right. that, that, you know, yeah. that I would, that I, I would. Even, even like new artists, like, I would, but yeah. boys ain't reaching out. And I can say this, though. 
Shout out to Swag. It's A and R Swag. Versatile Swag. Me and Swag been locked in for a while. Uh -huh. He, I, I, I gave. Um, OTB Fast Lane, one of his first interviews in like 2017, 18. Facts. And, and it was because of him. Facts. Um, Stunner Bam, D Flowers, uh, uh, Blood Bath, Young Ruler, um, who what? C Stone. I did C Stone. Who else I did? Out of Houston, I can't think of. Man, what's that dude name he be rapping? I don't know, them boys I can remember. Yeah. But, but Swag put me on to them early. Right, right, right. So I was on them early. But other than that. Yeah. Like, Shout uh, out to Swag too, man. Yeah. He put me in hella rooms. Yeah, hella. Swag, yeah. Hella yeah. rooms, yeah, man. I, sure. I appreciate that guy, man. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. He um he he most definitely put me on with with, with a few artists early, like like early. Like, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I gave D Flowers his first ever interview. If I ain't mistaken, but it was because of Swag. Yeah. Well, I, but I could be wrong. If it was first, it was definitely like his second or third, very early. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think you did. For sure. Man. Honestly, I think you did. Yeah. I, I had tried to do one with him, but we I had did we did other shit. Like me and D Flowers did a show together mm. in uh a few years ago. I forgot yeah. what year that was. But we had did a show together. I booked bro, paid him with all that shit, yeah. performed out there. But um that's besides the point. But um like it's other artists, bro. It's a lot of them. It's it's other. It's like, a lot okay, of them. so what? Like who who would you want outside of those people that we already know? Who would you want to do an interview? With? Ace Persona. Ace Persona. Boy, ho! I think that's how you say his name. Yeah. That yeah. nigga. I, I don't know if he. In jail. I think he went to jail. I don't he, know if he, he out now. I like that nigga. Ace Persona. I like that nigga. Yeah. That nigga hard. I, I think, like that nigga. I think he wanted to next up, man. What's up? How? What you think about uh? What's his name? Big ass to plug. He hard. I just hit, yeah. I hit his manager up like two days ago. Yeah, yeah. everybody saying he next up. I no, he was next up by Texas Pier. I wanted to interview him. Um, Big ass to plug is crazy. Um, Yellow Beezy's manager, Low Deezy. Yeah, yeah. We got a relationship. Oh, okay, okay. And Low Deezy, like, you come to Dallas, hit me up, whatever. Now, I ain't, I ain't talk to him about no Yellow interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he like, huh, he go Big X to plug. Manager, he go this manager. Now he 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 gave me the numbers. Yeah, yeah. Now if they if they ain't respond, that's on them. He so yeah, they ain't respond. Yeah, so yeah. but I like Big S Plug. Yeah. I like all this artists that's, that's connected to him. I I've, I've talked to them, but he he doing his thing. Yeah, for sure. Texas, he he, he showing out for Texas. Yeah, he he, he yeah, not playing for sure. So how, what what you feel about how you feel about this Trans Zero situation? Man? I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. You broke that story. I was in Houston. I was in Houston. Um, it was it was Halloween. I think mm. it was Halloween. Mm. They had Halloween night. Had a celebrity game, whatever. I was in Houston that day doing interviews and stuff like that. Now, the word had got out in Houston that it happened. Right. But not social media. Like, not everybody. It was like a Houston thing for a few hours. Right, and right. then it went boom. But I, I hate it happen. I, I hate it happen, man. I, I'm that a fan actually, of Actually, that situation happened during Tycoon weekend. Yeah, ty yeah, yeah. I was, was in like August, September. And so, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, I was thinking about takeoff. Yeah. But it was, it was, it was Tycoon weekend. I think trade it was trade day or something. Something was going on. Ty yeah, Tycoon 50 Cent had took off yeah, the whole city. Yeah, I was here. Yeah. I was in Houston. Yeah, so, I think he was here. Cause, fact, yeah, yeah, I was here. We talked. Yeah, yeah, we talked that, that day. I was here, but... I was doing stuff out here, and man, I hate it, man. I, the thing was, cause I've I've seen Trey do so many great things. I've been going to Trey Day consistently since 2000, I think 18, 19, and I haven't missed one. Yeah, no, I haven't yeah. missed one. So I've been <laughs> like past four. I'm gonna say the past four Trey Days I've been there. Yeah, consistently been there, uh -huh. and I've been seeing this guy doing a lot of stuff for people. Right, and then to see, like, dang, y'all do that to zero. Yeah. Like oh, and I and I zero. I'm a big fan of zero. I've been listening to zero since I was young. Right, right, right. But it's clearly some family, some deeper stuff that the public don't know. Right, right. And that's where they come from. Right, right. I hate it happen though. I hate it happen. But I, I, I just wish Trey. I wish Trey wouldn't have got out and went on social media. I, he, I wish he would just let it play how it play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause him going online and say we ain't do nothing, and then TMZ dropped this full video. Like 
dang, that's what really happened. Like yeah. y'all put the narrative out there, like your brother really whooped his ass yeah. by himself. <laughs> Cause all I seen was the half clip with zeros on the floor. Yeah, I ain't see like that was on Twitter. Zero on the floor balled up. Yeah. We didn't see the full video until see, like later. Yeah, see, it's a full video. Yeah, I know it's a full video. And it's video. a different narrative than what the media is pushing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it just when it comes to that type of shit, and now that the law is involved, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like can't really it like you do more damage trying to defend. Oh you yeah, know what I'm saying yourself against whatever's oh, yeah. going on on social media. Oh yeah. So yeah, and I hate it too, bro. Honestly, I hate it too. Like, yeah, and the the, the 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 thing about it is that Houston, so. it's driving a wedge between the real family of them niggas. Right. Like. Like we can talk about it because we blog media person. Right, but right, you right. saying family and niggas been knowing each other forever. Right. Now y'all choosing sides. Right. That's what, I mean they always did though. Yeah, but it's different. It's man. been like a real like bro, it, for years, bro, it's been this, honestly. And I mean it's not it's not even really the first time that something like that has happened, but it just was public this time. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's, it's public, yeah, it's public and we never seen, I never seen Zero get jumped before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably right. got beat. He didn't have records where he talked about having fights and losing fights. Right, 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 but right. It, we haven't seen it. Right. Nigga, we, now we didn't see, we didn't hear Trey uh, punch. Who he punched? Mike Jones years ago? We didn't hear Trey yes. beat up niggas. Yeah, yeah. We didn't hear it. <laughs> I've never heard Trey getting beat up. Right, right, right. right. I've heard Trey whooping a lot of niggas or yeah. haven't see everybody know Trey muscle. Yeah. They know. Yeah. But on the flip side, this nigga when it, when we got a hurricane, he out there before some niggas yeah. in a boat with boots on helping people. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's hard to say what type of person he is if you really don't know him. I don't right. really know Trey. Right, I just right, right. go off the media. Right, right. I've seen Trey do some great things. Yeah, no, nah, I and mean, from my personal experience with him, bro, he, yeah. he, do, he does great things on a day to day basis. Real like, nigga. Like, day to day basis. For example, like, this month, every week, this month, he's giving furniture out to a, a family. Like, just pick a family. Yeah. Right? Getting free party with build furniture, whatever, like, piece of furniture they need in their crib, he buying it for them, getting it delivered, he's showing up. Yeah. Putting it in there. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so hard. It's, it's hard. That's bro. why it's so hard to say something. That's why. It has to be like a real Houston guy that knows them to really speak on that accurately. Right, 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 right. Like right. a real Houston guy who really know. I know y'all from really know y'all niggas. Right, right. Like, facts, so. facts, facts. Yeah. So where do you see like where do you see us as media? Like where do you see us going um, within the next few years, bro? Because I feel like a lot of the social media shit is dying down. Instagram dying down, algorithms is fucked up, nigga. We getting, we got. I, I know for a fact you got hella followers. I got hella followers, oh, nigga. Yeah. We getting twenty likes and shit on the ground. Like it's just weird <laughs> shit going on on social media. And then like you know people starting to hate the bigger media's and all that. Like, do you think that we will have like some like a different route to go? Man, it's or all, you it's all control, control, man. It's all control. I don't know, man, cause uh, shit changing. Yeah. With artificial intelligence, we don't know the next social media platform either. Right now, TikTok on high five. Yeah, right. But the thing about tick, tick, TikTok, that algorithm crazy too. And they flag everything. They flag and copyright everything. Yeah, everything too. So yeah. even if it's your content, like yeah. like change the plans, we got a um, we we have we got one, but sometimes they'll they'll flag a, a, a post, they'll flag a video, and I'm like, what? This this the this is the original video. Right. And then you go in and review it, and they'll put it back up. Sorry, sorry. Like like every violation that Change the Plans had on TikTok, every time they got reviews, they put it back up. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what causes them to do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they got going on. Huh? So what do you, what do you have like um, coming up for twenty three, man? For your brand, like man, right now, and, just and you personally, like the merch. As far as me, yeah, as far yeah. as that, yeah. as far as for the brand, it's the merch. Getting okay. that together, having that structure to where it's like when somebody orders something, it's, 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 it's perfect. It's like like an assembly line. You buy the shirt, put the shirt in the package, put the thank you note, put it in the package, take it to the, to the USPS people and get it to you. Right. It's like having that in line. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been working on for almost a year. I just got my trademark. Okay. Like um, when I got the trademark. October, 
Uh-huh. I think I got it in October. Okay. Like I got a trademark, like you can't do nothing. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. So like what's the what's the what's the angle for change play? Like is it gonna be like a like a talk show? Like is that what you mo moving towards? Is it gonna be like a situation where you got a spot and niggas pull up for the interview? It's everything. Is the interviews even what you wanna do or is you just using it to get somewhere? It's yeah. always like it, it, I, I, it's always like bro, I love interviews. I, I'm always gonna do that. Okay. But I was I was in the process of having my own podcast. Okay. But my co host was just my cousin. She very, very like outgoing young lady. Right. She just turned like twenty eight. No, she turned twenty seven. But she had got pregnant. Oh, okay. So I wasn't about to debut her to the world pregnant, and and it's, it's other women like, why can't she be pregnant? Like she can, but I, I would rather I introduce her when she 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 have a baby and she good and she she right. focused to do it. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I was in the process of doing that. It's still gonna happen. It was just a delay. And right. I want I want to make sure I have her. I wanted her. Okay. Like I could have went. So, All right, you can't do it. And find mm -hmm. no, I, I wanted her because it, it. Yeah. All right. So right. that um I'm a, I'm an investor too. I'm in the stock market. Ooh. I do all that. Put me on, man. This, um, I don't know nothing the, about the stock market. Crypt, crypt, right crypto now. going crazy right now. They had a crazy pump the last two days. The stock market up right now. So, but I'm into that too. Yeah, you man. Know, then coding. Um, I haven't got. I was in college. I was like into like computers and shit. Okay. But um, after I graduated school, I just got away from it. Uh -huh. But now, since the world is rolling out to this um. They rolling out to this artificial intelligence stuff. Right, right, right. Like they are having fully automated McDonald's and and Amazon and all this stuff. So the people who know how to code this AI, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever computer language it may be, COBOL, SQL, um, um, JavaScript, uh -huh. it's HTML, HTML or HT no HTML. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, C, CSS. Um, Python, all these different computer coding languages that's gonna cater to the AI. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I gotta get into that. Okay. I gotta get into that, but I don't want to go over y'all head or nothing like that. So but that's what I'm. That's what I'm on right now. You flew right over my shit. <laughs> <laughs> right up, yeah, yeah, yeah. About that. yeah, yeah. But yeah. now nah, I feel you though. I feel you though, man. And shit, man. I appreciate you coming out. Tap it in with me, man. I know we've been supposed to do this a million times ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We finally got it done, though, man. So I appreciate oh, you tapping in with my whatever, platform. Man. And know, I want to say this. I appreciate you. Yeah. When I come to Houston, I hit up OTR Nick, and I, I talk to Big Ant. Shout out to Big Ant. Shout out my boy Big Ant. Those, those, those are the guys that I hit up, and when I come here, it's all love. 